In my previous projects, I have programmed servo motor SG90 in different applications using C++ and servo libraries. In this video, SG90 is programmed using assembly to rotate the servo clockwise and counterclockwise. Inside the SG90 servo motor is a DC motor which is controlled by logic circuit and applying pulse width modulation into the logic circuits will rotate the servo. The main specs of the SG90, it has a torque of 2 kg per centimeter at nominal voltage. The speed of rotation is 0 0.09 seconds per 60 degrees. It has a rotational angle of 180 degrees, uh, 90 degrees in clockwise and 90 degrees in counterclockwise. The operating voltage is between 4.8 to maximum 6 volt and it has a dead bandwidth of uh, 7 microseconds which is the permissible change in the bandwidth without affecting the rotation of the servo motor. The servo motor can be rotated from 0 to 180 degrees by applying a series of pulse width modulated signals. A rectangular waveform of 1 millisecond pulse width and 20 millisecond period will position the servo at 0 degrees, while a pulse width of 1.5 milliseconds will put the position at 90 degrees, and a 2 millisecond pulse width will position the servo at 180 degrees. Therefore, changing the pulse width of this periodic signal from 1 millisecond to 2 milliseconds will rotate the servo motor from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. In this video, timer 0 will be used to give the different pulse widths. A circuit diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the SG90 interface with the Arduino through pin PB4 of port B. And we have three LEDs connected to PB0, 1 and 2. The red LED indicates the servo position at 0 degrees the green at 90 degrees and the blue at 180 degrees. And now let's see how we can program the SG90 in assembly. We begin by storing these bytes in flash memory which will enable the servo to rotate from 0 to 180 degrees and back from 180 degrees to 0. And these uh, bytes are actually values needed by the out output capture register in timer 0 in order to give us the pulse width from 1 millisecond to 2 milliseconds. So for example this uh, byte here will give us a pulse width of 1 millisecond while this byte here will give us a pulse width of 1.5 and this byte here will give us a 2 millisecond. As an example, let's say the program wants to generate this pulse width modulated signal so as to move the servo to position 90 degrees. Pointer Z is now pointing to this byte which is the byte needed to give us a delay of 1.5 millisecond through timer 0. This byte is loaded into register R24 and then we call the subroutine rotates servo. And in this subroutine we want to simulate or generate this pulse width modulated signal. So first we will generate one period. First we will generate the pulse of, peri uh, of uh, width 1.5 millisecond which is output at port PB4. And of course timer 0 is used to give us a delay of 1.5 millisecond using this byte value 90. After the pulse is generated we want to add the, the period 20 milliseconds so we call the subroutine delay 20 milliseconds and now we have one complete cycle. We repeat this uh, several times in this example 10 times in order to generate the waveform needed to stabilize the servo at position 90 degrees. And then 
we return to this uh, calling subroutine and then uh, we go back and get the next byte and generate the next servo position and so on. A quick look at the assembly code. We initialize uh, port uh, B for output. So here pin PB4 is output for servo control and uh, pins uh, PB0, 1 and 2. We have the red, green and blue LEDs are connected to indicate the servo position at position 0 degrees, 90 degrees and 180 degrees. Next we store in flash memory these bytes in order to rotate the servo from 0 to 180 and from 180 back to 0 and then we assign pointer Z to this uh, uh, sets of bytes and then using this uh, loop here we will generate the pulse width modulated signals needed for the rotation so for example the this byte and using this loop we will generate the pulse uh, the pulse width modulated signal in order to give us the uh, zero degree uh, position and this byte with this loop will give us the 90 degree position and this byte and the loop will give us the 180 degree position. Inside subroutine rotate servo using this loop here we will generate the 10 cycles of uh, pulse width modulated signal for each rotational position. This part of the code is used to uh, turn on the LEDs uh, based on the rotational position of the servo. So the red LED will be on when the position is at uh, 0 and the green will be on when the position is at 90 and the uh, blue will be on when the position is at 180 degrees. Finally we have the delay subroutines. This is the timer 0 subroutine to give us delays uh, between 1 millisecond and 2 milliseconds and this is the delay subroutine used to give us the 20 milliseconds and the delay subroutine here gives us a half a second. Now these two subroutines use nested loops to implement the delay. In a future video I'll be using a rotary encoder to control the motion of a servo motor. Thank you for watching.